Greetings. Um, welcome to the first episode in the podcast of the the actual play, The Retreat. Um, we da 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 da. <laughs> um, um, we are going to be playing in the five E system, and um, uh, with the exception of a Humber brew rule that we call trinkets, which is basically a when a character has a good story moment or a good roleplay moment or something like that, then they then the DM will have the ability to give them a trinket, which they can use and expend and give back to um, succeed automatically on any check that they want to make. Um, that is the rules. Um, the for the setting and a little bit of the story, the retreat is about a taking in the setting of Emrys' Wellness Retreat for Broken Heroes, which is a kind of therapy camp for traumatized heroes. And our traumatized heroes are going through it. Um, The first one of those heroes is Seraphim, played by Briar. Briar, can you explain a little bit about your character? Yeah, totally. Okay, so Seraphim is an artificer rogue um he is also a king coup um in the form of like a crow or a raven um he's like four foot five just a short dude and one of the first things you'll notice is that he's very cyborg e his face is like made of metal he looks like a crow but just like metal um what else about seraphim yeah, that's that's kind of the basics. He's just a small mm-hmm. metal bird who cannot fly. Um, Not yet. Do you want to talk about Merton first? Yes. Okay. So Seraphim is introduced to the story alongside his parole officer, <laughs> Martin. Um, Martin is a furbolg um, who is just kind of tagging along for the um, in the in the initial purpose of like, stopping Seraphim from doing villainous activities. Um, (laughs) um, but isn't super great at it, um, but he tries his best, and that's so much of what, who Martin is as a person. And he's a furbolg. And he's a furbolg. (laughs) And we love furbolg, because they're, like, little cow people. So true. Um, (laughs) Um, So, Seraphim, the whole reason he's going to the retreat um, is because of some shady stuff that's happened in his past. He um, is, he has a magical repressor on his memories, um, but at the start of the campaign, I started at some... Do I know that it's an institution? Mm-hmm. I started at uh, an artificer's college um, with people who I recognized as my colleagues, um, like, restraining me and talking me through, like, you are broken, you are insane, you need to go to... And also you're evil and you're a criminal, and so we're going to send you and Martin to Emrys's wellness retreat. And before they send them away, they, they put a magical repressor on his memory so he can't remember anything except for the fact that he went to Artificer College yeah, and that he knows Martin. Um, very Dr. David kinda <laughs> from the Magnus yeah. Archives. Dr. <laughs> David. Um, so Martin and Seraphim go to the retreat. Um, they meet Emrys, and there's, uh, Seraphim has, like, an immediate, like, yes, an authority figure, this is great, I know (laughs) nothing about my life, so this is great, authority Authority figure. figure. Um, Seraphim and Martin are there for two months, just kind of bonding, hanging out, you know, as best friends do. (laughs) Yeah. Um, (laughs) doing research on fun things, Mm -hmm. um, and then they meet... The next character, yeah, is played by Callie. 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 My name's Callie, and my character is a pink tiefling of the name of Jackie. Jackie. She has brown hair that comes into two twin braids that kind of sag over her shoulders. She wears a red dress that has a kind of like a brown corset on the outer side, um, and she has a purple scarf. 
she is a very she's a bard and she plays her tambourine <laughs> and she's just a girl man she loves she loves arts and crafts she loves dancing and singing and she loves to save people um she experiences trauma as everyone does and she she lived in a very like kind of wealthy lifestyle lived in a villa then her aunt came to her and said hey you're not well you've changed as a person and i want you to get over this boy so i'm gonna send you away and jackie's like no but okay she's not happy to be there but she really? she's happy to get to know people. <laughs> All right. Okay. So basically our uh, format of this as just talking about what's happened is going to be we're going to talk about the different sessions and then what our characters know and what we know about them and what they amount know about each other and stuff like that. So uh Starting off with session one, we've had three sessions before the one that we will be posting. Um, so the first session that you will never hear because we never recorded it and it's all super secret, which is why we're telling you about it, um, <laughs> is um, session one. And it kind of began with the characters having their own scenes before they went to Emerson's wellness retreat and met each other, and the first scene was Seraphim's scene. It was a little piece of what happened right before he got sent away. And do you want to talk about what happened in that scene, or do you want me to talk about it? Yeah, I can talk about it. Okay. Uh, let me pull up my notes. Your I'm notes. I'm a good little player, and I take notes. <laughs> I take notes, too. It's just not on me. Mm, okay. Yeah, you <laughs> Um, <laughs> so things that I wrote down that were specifically significant for mm -hmm. Seraphim was seeing his colleagues in different colored trench coats. There was red, black, and white, and they were all kind of like standing over him talking about how, oh, you're so broken. Um, some of <laughs> the quotes that I have oh, is, no. you were made for, you were made of nothing and for nothing. Um, and another quote, another <laughs> lovely quote, is, that. your soul was unforeseen. Ooh. Um, so, Mar uh, Martin, not Martin, um, I will clarify that both of those things were a monologue before yes. those, that, for your scene. Oh. It was a monologue addressed to Emrys about, um, yeah, remember? Huh. At the very end of the, do you do you not remember that? No. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, I um, take wonderful notes. <laughs> <laughs> Super good. <laughs> but just about like how a little bit of, of Emrys's history of like, you know, mm -hmm. you fell and you got like blah 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 oh. and people taught you how to be, but you know, your soul was unforeseen and oh, you know so you wasn't directed you, at Seraphim? No. Ah. Um Riddle. and you've gotten like <laughs> uh, uh, uh. More Elda Emrys. Yeah. <laughs> And it was just talking a, a little bit about how she kind of, like, uh, had uh, founded her own soul, and it was very unexpected by this person who was speaking to her. Hmm. Um, but we don't really know anything about who that is or why they're saying that. Uh -huh. okay. um, mm -hmm. I mean, I do, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> so after all that happened, then, yes. Seraphim was... In some sort of room, being, like... Gaslit. Yeah, full-on gaslit, that, like, you're an awful person, you're a criminal, you are unwell, you're broken, you need to go to the retreat. And so Seraphim was like, well, what do I do? <laughs> um, because now he has Martin, like, being a parole officer. Um, I don't put that in quotations, he is a parole <laughs> officer. He tries. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he tries so he hard. He tries so hard. Um, and so Seraphim really doesn't know what's going on at all because he has no memories of mm -hmm. anything. Um, so yeah. That, that was kind of all of that scene. 
for Seraphim, where he's like, oh, I guess I'm broken. I have to go get better. Damn it. <laughs> I don't even know what I did wrong. Um, and so then he goes to the wellness retreat. Yeah. And do you want, can I add more onto that scene <laughs> yeah. to like describe it a little bit more? So you're like in a, in a, like an empty room, kind of mm-hmm. like very, very clean, like jail cell, like marble walls and everything. And sound repression and shit um and then there were three people who you said before were um red white, and black. red white and black that was you don't remember if though they were the same people every time but you do remember that there was always that uniform of those colors um and then there was a device that um basically removed your memories from you in like a kind of like half scientific half magical kind of artificy way Art is artificy. Yeah, artificy. Um, and um, you, and it was described that Martin was there for that. Right. Um, we don't know why yet. We will learn that because first session. Um, but and then you go to the artificer college, and you you don't remember anything. You don't remember that instance for yourself, um, because that was also taken away with the memories. So he's basically starting his life, and he's like, I kind of just appeared here. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But I have a fur bulb. Yes. And that's crazy. <laughs> a pet fur bulb. a pet fur bulb, and that's crazy, but he tells me not to do things. A pet fur yeah. bulb. <laughs> Listen, it was Nemo's words, not mine. Hey, you said it. <laughs> No, I didn't. You said you said I, you, I, said, you said, I, said I have, I have a, fur a fur bulb, which was which very sounded mean, like it doesn't mean that I adopted him and now I, like am his owner, but like, it's like, <laughs> have, it's like I have friends. I have a fur bulb. He's I have a fur bulb. He's he's very good. He's a good he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay. Um, and that is where you. We kind of have like a little skip in time. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I have a little skip in time where you appear at the uh, the opening of uh, like the the entrance of Emerson's Wellness Retreat for Broken Heroes, um, and it's how it is. You know, it's like this big at the big house. It's this big uh, campground, kind of like how kids imagined like sleepaway camps to be with like pegasi in the stable and yeah. and like uh, uh people flying in airships and then pegasi over the lake pegasi. and the pegasi <gasps> the pegasi, the pegasi. <laughs> <laughs> and like a forest and all the like different cabins and um it's really beautiful out and it's just a really really nice place that you I don't think Seraphim's seen a, a like a nice place like this before, even if you though don't remember. He also it. wouldn't know. Yeah, though he also <laughs> wouldn't know. Um, he just doesn't know anything. But that is kind of how you enter, and then you find yourself in the big house where you have a conversation with Emrys, right? Because mm-hmm. Emrys has when you enter the camp, the first thing that you do is you get like. Uh, you what's the word? Take appointment. You got You you kind of do. You go, you yeah, go you talk to Emrys and yeah. like. She, like, analyzes, like, what help you will need here and stuff like that. So much. So much. Do you want to talk about that intake appointment? Um. (laughs) You want to talk about your intake appointment? I think it was just that he didn't, he was like, I don't remember anything, Mm -hmm. and I don't know why I'm here. And so she was like, you stand my child. Yeah. Off into the world you go. (laughs) And she's like, what, like, I'm going to list for you a bunch of counselors. Who do you want to be your, like, help? And he chose to meet with Emrys. And Emrys. Should I, I like I describe Emrys? Yeah. Should I describe Emrys? Yeah. Okay. She's a very important character. <laughs> she's she's no, a very she's important not. character. Nobody needs nah, you'll know. never hear from her again. Um, like Emrys is a human-looking person. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Who, you know, like, uh, warm uh, brown skin and, like, lots of colorful makeup and, like, large colorful ceramic beads in her hair. 
um, tall woman, you know, big tall woman, and we love her, and she's so cool. Do we? I do. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> if you don't like her, then I'm sad, no, but that's love, okay. We love Emrys. Okay. We don't yeah. trust her. Yeah. <laughs> like. At all. Like, I know Callie likes Emrys. I love Emrys. But nope, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that is kind of who Emrys is. She's very, like, a, like, a little weird, but very, like, confident and just, like, knows how to carry herself and that kind of thing. Um, and you guys have, like, a conversation and talk about, like, <laughs> that you don't have any memories. He's like, well, that's kind of fucking weird. Yeah. Shouldn't I know things about my life? And she's like, no. And she's fine. like, I can try and help with that. <laughs> um, and that is kind of your conversation. And then you kind of go on your way where we um, switch gears to, to Jackie's first scene. Ah. <sighs> Jackie talks to her aunt, and her aunt's like, you love a boy who you can't go over, leave. And so Jackie's like, fine. Because, you know, she tried sneaking back into her own house and, you know, grab a few things. Didn't work out for her. <laughs> she was kind of heartbroken. She gets put on a train, no warning, walks in the forest, and there's this little wizard guy. He is. The best wizard man in the the best wizard named Rincewind. Rincewind. And that was hard for me to say, so I shortened Wind, it to RW. RW. And Jackie looked at this man and went, you're gonna be my new friend. You're, you're great. I like you. You're chill. And so Jackie's like, Rincewind, my guy. And they like, they yuck it up. They have a great time as they're mm -hmm. walking through the forest. They're like, as Rincewind is like explaining things to Jackie of how things work. And they're just talking, having a good time. And Jackie's like, how do I leave? And Winston's like, ha ha, let's go talk to Emma. <laughs> He's like, here's the thing. And Jackie's like, I want to leave. <laughs> and Winston's like, we'll go we'll talk to Emma about that. <laughs> people, people leave sometimes. <laughs> and so then here comes... This is where the shifting point happens, is when Jackie meets with Emrys and has their intake together. Okay, first of all, Jackie enters the camp and sees the Pegasi. This will be, yes. this will be oh relevant later. Yes, this Jackie will be relevant sees the Pegasi. Later. Jackie, ja Pegasi, Jackie Jackie's loves like, the Jackie's Pegasi. like, I don't need therapy, and then sees the Pegasi, and is like, maybe I need therapy with the Pegasi. <laughs> maybe I need therapy with the, only the Pegasi. Yeah. Only the Pegasi. Jackie's never seen a Pegasi before. She She's never a seen a Pegasus. I know. <laughs> I meant blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> so sorry. And so um then Jackie meets Emrys. Oh Emrys. Oh Emrys. Oh, and that's Emrys. that's when the whole shift happens, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like that's when the shift occurs. Here's the thing. <laughs> Emrys is a change or a shape changer. And that's so cool. The fun sure. thing about <laughs> shape changers is that they recognize another shape changer. Hello? Hello? Um, Jackie doesn't like that, does, does she? No, Jackie, not like that at all. <laughs> Jackie... Oh, I forgot to mention, a very big point about Jackie is that she does not have a tail. Yes. She does not have yes. a tiefling tail. Look at a weirdo. I should, add, <laughs> I, should, I should add that Jackie does not have a tiefling tail. Yes. So, Jackie sees Emrys. Emrys sees Jackie. There's this kind of thing where I rolled and I got pretty high on an insight. Yeah. And, and, Jackie immediately goes on the guard. Jackie's immediately like, hmm, I don't trust you. I don't <laughs> like you. I'm not comfortable being here. I want to leave. And you Emrys, can't trust shape changers. Yeah, you can't trust <laughs> shape changers why would you trust a shape changer yeah you like, ew i've never met one before yeah but <laughs> you and so jackie has to do with emrys and emrys is like what what do you what why yeah what, what's going on hello hey hey and jackie's like i want to leave and emrys is like tell me about yourself 
And, and Jackie's like, <laughs> what if I didn't? <laughs> what if you did, though? What if you didn't? What if I just fucking left? <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> and this is what Jackie talks like. Jackie's a sweet little girl. This is how she talks. But sometimes, sometimes, when she's fucking pissed, she'll be like this. Which is a big vocal shift for her. Mm -hmm. um, and so... This is kind of when we realized that we could all totally serious roleplay with each other, and it was amazing. Bro. It was awesome. Was that the first, like, yeah. serious roleplay was you and Emrys? Yeah, it was. That was the first moment. Yeah. And so, uh, Jackie. Because Emrys was, like, immediately trying to, like, crack your mask, like, immediately. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Jackie yeah. does not appreciate that. Jackie yeah. wants to be happy and fun. She does not want to look beyond anything else. Yeah. Jackie's just Jackie. There's nothing, there's nothing yeah, going Jackie on. Yeah, Jackie is just Jackie. That's yeah. just who she is. Let Jackie be Jackie. Let, yeah, let Jackie be Jackie. <laughs> and you'll, you podcaster listeners will learn about that soon enough. Oh my god. Let Jackie be Jackie. I wrote a list of all of the quotes that oh, we've put, that we've it's said. So okay, um, and, and so... so is there anything else that you want to add about that meaning oh, in specific? Oh, getting put into a cabin with yes. Seraphim. Yes, getting put into a cabin with Seraphim, specifically <laughs> when a new person comes along, they sometimes get assigned, like, a friend. You know, like, the assigned friends that children have sometimes? They they do that. I think that they... was just you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't have... Well, I didn't go I to never had assigned friends, guys. <laughs> They were I, just like family friends. I never went to camp. You 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 went you went to homeschool. Yeah. That doesn't matter. <laughs> that, that, you don't count. Okay. You don't count. Okay. <laughs> um but um basically Jackie got assigned um <laughs> Seraphim as like the friend that will like show show her around campus or like the camp and like Which he definitely was not aware of. He was like, I'm being assigned a buddy? Yeah. Huh? Um and, uh, I mean, and by extension also Martin, because Martin goes everywhere with Sarah. It's true. Um, and I believe that the next thing, was the next thing that happens the that... No, Pegasus. No, the Pegasus. It was, it, was, it, was, it was the Pegasus. <laughs> so, Seraphim and Martin are like, and this is, like, we're going around, you know, this is the, this is the... Arts and crafts, this is the blah, Pegasus. Blah, blah. Oh, and this is the Pegasus, and they go, Pegasus. they go to the Pegasi stables right on the edge of the forest and um meet two characters actually they meet akina um and mortimer so mortimer is a kind of like you know like the black knight in um in monty python <laughs> that that like very that visual um and also um akina who is this like little little boy that has a face that is always forgotten whenever you look away so it's kind of like baby baby um and they're kind of manning the Pegasi stables. And then comes Jackie. <laughs> and Jackie wants to pet a Pegasi. Jackie, a Pegasus. Jackie wants to pet the Pegasus. And she decides to go with a brown, this very, very horse looking Pegasus, very brown. Mm -hmm. She wanted yeah. brown, brown coat, brown mane. Mm -hmm. And in comes Tim. Tim. <laughs> Fun fact about Jackie. Fucking Tim. She didn't know Pegasi could talk. <laughs> You've she never seen a Pegasi before. Yeah, she's never seen a Pegasi before. She didn't know they could talk, so she was outright rude to Tim by accident. And Tim, the flamboyant <laughs> motherfucker. Tim. He's gorgeous. He's beauty. He's yeah. grace. He will... Tim is the, like, the Pegasi equivalent of, like, a hair toss. Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tim was great, and Jackie was so excited to meet Tim. And everyone was saying, oh, Tim's kind of hard to get used to. Tim's kind of mean. <laughs> Seraphim had his own interaction with Tim by mimicking Tim, and he did not appreciate that. Yeah. Seraphim has mimicking behaviors, by the way. He... Well, Kinku. Yeah, he's a Kinku. Kinku. So, that... Yeah, so uh, Seraphim developed a British accent immediately. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> From Jackie. Because of Jackie. Yeah. And it was great. And so, so Jackie's like, can, can I write? Am I... Tim, may I... May I, may I fly with you? And Tim was like, yeah, but I don't like saddles. And Jackie's like, okay. <laughs> so they're having a grand time in the in the sky. Like everything's yeah. great. They go over a lake. It's like e eerily, eerily gelatinous. gelatinous, right? And so Jackie wants to do the cool thing and like put her hand down and run it through the water. Instead, is it eerily gelatinous? 
So instead, when she puts her hand down, she gets Fails the deck save. Save. Shush. <laughs> it's Jackie's fault, not mine. Yeah. Um, she, shush. <laughs> it was the dice. She the ends dice. up getting flung off the horse, but because, or the pegasi, I'm so sorry, Tim. But because of Jackie holding on to his mane, Drags she, him she, down took, too. she took him down with her. And Tim was not appreciative of this. And Jackie, Jackie doesn't like being dirty. So she was not having a good time. Meanwhile, Martin and Seraphim <laughs> were just having a talk or having a gander. Just hanging out with themselves and having fun. Right, Seraphim? Yep. And then was laughing internally at me. Or, I'm sorry, yeah. at, jo- at Jackie. And then, um... Jackie was like, I will wash you off, Tim. And Tim's like, okay. Tim could have just magically reversed his dirtiness. <laughs> it took you a while, and then Tim was like, this is taking too long. And goes, wah, and it's all clean again. And Jackie's still sticky. And Jackie was pretending to still be happy, yeah. but inside she was a wreck. And then she went to go clean herself off, and then had a panic attack for 19 minutes. <laughs> Um, that is what happened there, and then I believe, um, like, it was, was the library. Jonas. Is it the lot library? Yeah, it was the library. Like the Broken Angel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. The lore. The lore. So, uh, for context, the place where, um, they first met Emrys is called the Big House. It's just, like, the, like, the place where you go and... There's, like, it's, it's, what is it, like, a it's, community meeting kind of area? Yeah, it's, like, the Stardew Valley kind yeah. of community house. Yeah. It's kind of like, like that. It's, like, a camp. It'd be, like, the lunch hall. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Um, and the, and that, and that is on, like, the first floor, and then on the second floor is the library. Library. The library. The biblioteca. Biblioteca. And in the library... Seraphim, what's in the library? Okay, so so here's the thing. Seraphim and Martin, uh, during the two months that they were this there together, they started researching a historical figure called the Broken Angel, who mysteriously disappeared after um, some weird happening. I don't think we researched that. Um, and they have an entire conspiracy theory board in the library that just has like ripped out pages of books and news clippings and red string and you know the whole thing that they have not gone in trouble for yet (laughs) the whole shebang the whole thing you know um and so they decide hey new friend you are going to learn all about the research that we've done and so martin and seraphim go on this whole rant about the broken angel the broken angel who is he where Why is, is he? he now where is wow. he how is he all the things all the questions they're flaring their arms up in the air as they're, <laughs> they're saying these insane. words yuck um and so the rose whatever you said yuck at me <laughs> it wasn't actually yuck i just saw it and i reacted um, um so that was them introducing that kind of stuff to Jackie. Mm-hmm. Do we want to go over what we know about the Broken Angel? You know, at this point, I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> the Broken Angel is a kind of like equivalent of like a cryptid almost. <laughs> that was so evil. <laughs> like Mothman. <laughs> Miss Moth. And it's kind of like a when like biblically accurate angel sort of vibe going in terms of looks um with all the like the the eyes, the rings, rings and the eyes and the, extra wings and the and runes and all that shit and then he's made of flesh and metal runes are not associated with biblically accurate angels that is more norwegian scandinavian anyway so norse okay thank you norse norse, norse. Yeah, yeah scandinavia yeah norse Okay, so... And then he's also flesh and metal. Flesh and metal, yes. Yes, and metal. And was basically... Appeared for the first time about 500 years ago. During the war. During the war, that's another thing. There was a war. (laughs) And the war was about uh, the... Like a fight between magic and science. Because they don't like each other very much. 
Um, and because one's cool and the other's science. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it 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 appeared that the broken angel was more against magic, but also did do stuff against science. But was like he said, "Man, fuck all of you." Yeah, was more focused on the against the magic kind of sort of thing. Yeah. Um. And what what else do we know? We we know the most recent event. the most recent event was the, two months ago. Yeah, two months. <laughs> And the, and it was at an Artificer Institute where it showed up and blew up a part of the building. <laughs> and it was like, peace Pow! out! And it was like, peace out! And of course yeah, all of the headlines were like, the, the broken angel still at large! <laughs> the broken angel still hates science? Question mark, question mark, question mark! <laughs> still hates science. Artificers. <laughs> um, and that was a thing, and... Anything else about that? That and they kind of got a uh, roped Callie, uh, not Callie. Jackie. Jackie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> groped Jackie into like being Gro- interested. Roped. Roped. <laughs> roped. <laughs> I said roped. Everything roped is fine Jackie here. into being interested in it too. It's like their little hyperfixation going on. Yeah, and Jackie was just kind of vibing at first with it. Jackie yeah. didn't know what was going on, yeah. but she still enjoyed it. She's enjoying yeah. having a something key, to do. A key um, detail is that before this point, um, Seraphim is very, like, neutral. And then the second <laughs> that we're like, oh, it's our thing, it's like, wow, the broken angel, where? Where is it now? Who is it now? Why is it now? For what is it now? Like, a very different behavior. <laughs> yeah, and Jackie was so caught off with this that in her head she just went, ah, this must be his shiny thing. Yeah. He's bird like. Bird He's bird like. This, this must, must be, be his shiny. shiny. Which is a quote that I have written. <laughs> it's, it's a good it, quote. He is very bird like. This must be his shiny. Um, and that is the Broken Angel, which we will be resurfacing. As we learn more. Yeah. Um, library. And at this point, did they, did Martin, uh, not Martin, did, okay, so Seraphim, also in this. Seraphim did try to talk to Jackie. I'm pretty sure. Did Seraphim did go and serious? talk to Emrys? Did Jackie go and talk to Emrys? Jackie did go and yes. talk to Emrys. I will, right I will the library, also add that you rolled an insight check for Martin. Do you remember that? I did. It's because it's because I was wondering, because, you know, Jackie, she's a very romantic person, and she's watching the interaction between a full bulger and a kenku, and I'm like, mm. Oh, they're in love. They're in love. <laughs> okay, they're in love here. There's some there's some love vibes. There's some, there's some vibes here going on. They're not aware of those vibes, but... Not at all. <laughs> Not because, at all. Because they are blind. They are not seeing each other. No, no. Uh, Jackie didn't go see Amherst. That's the next day. That's the session two. That's session two. That's session two. Okay. Yeah, then we have the moment at the bonfire. Where but we Sarah we did have a moment gone. before the bonfire. Love is blind. There was a moment between Seraphim and Jackie before the bonfire, which set up for the bonfire. Okay. What was that? <laughs> um, the moment was basically it was Seraphim. Ba- it's like practice prying. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what oh, it was. Oh, right, right. Is, it was. Rehearsal prying. Yeah, yeah. Is, is Seraphim was trying to get to know, basically force Jackie to spill out answers, and Jackie was very uncomfortable with yeah. it. Yeah. Also, Jackie was kind of pissed. <laughs> at the bonfire, Emrys is like, hey, you should be friends with Jackie. You know, to don't... Seraphim. Yeah, to Seraphim. Like, like you should be friends too. with <laughs> Jackie. You know, like, don't cry. Just, like, become friends, you know? Like, I think she needs friends right now. And <laughs> what does That's Seraphim not... do? <laughs> what does Seraphim do? What does Seraphim do? Dear after... And so the bonfire the is like this really fun little thing. Oh, it's like... it is. Yeah. Okay. So forgot about that part. So <laughs> basically at the bonfire, it's like this magical fire that's an enormous. It's like sending up different color sparks. It's like, like a rainbow of color of flames and sparks and like smoke shapes and stuff. Like there's legends about like, you can see the future in the smoke and blah, 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 blah. But every night, um, everyone gathers around the bonfire and holds hands, and at the same time, they all, like, shout at the fire to, like, 
expel bad vibes in or like bad emotions into the or there aren't bad emotions but like it, the, they, negative they, they, feelings like, yeah. into the fire as like a a therapy thing of like i wish blah 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 i hate this like i had a bad day at work or well they, they're not working because they're at camp but like had a bad day camp. at arts and crafts <laughs> i messed up at arts and crafts like he stole my fucking belt <laughs> Um, but that's kind of what was uh, going on. And um, Jackie Jackie said, into the fire. I hate Emrys. <laughs> yeah. And because that is true at this point yes. in time. <laughs> do, you, do you remember what um, Seraphim said? Seraphim said something about wishing that he had his memories again. Mm-hmm. And because Mar- he really knows absolutely nothing. Yes. And it's really important to him to know things. I don't think yes. we knew what Martin said. Yeah, Martin, did. Oh, yeah, did? Martin said, I yeah. hate that he doesn't know. Oh, yeah. ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, babies. But of because, course, everyone because, is, because yeah. Seraphim was like, I hate not knowing. And then Martin goes, I hate that he doesn't know. Yeah. Oh. And because being in love is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't gotten there yet. No. Um, but, um, an important thing to note is that because everyone's saying at the, the same time, no one can actually really hear what anyone else is saying. Um, yeah. So, um, fireside chat in, in, in quotation marks. Ooh, this was a heavy one. Okay. Seraphim and Jackie had a little talk. A little talk. It was just a, uh, so like a friendly little talk, you know. It was just a little, chit-chat. just a little chit chat. It was something. <laughs> um, so Jackie's sitting at the fire and she's like having, she's like taking in her time. Mm-hmm. She's like taking it all in, trying to figure out what she can do in order to get out as quick as possible. Because she's got people to save. She's a hero. She has things that she needs to do to help people and and be able to do all these sorts of things. And she can't do that while being stuck there so she's just kind of contemplating things and then comes comes a little bird guy hey. a little birdie told me that that's what happens <laughs> yeah and and how does how does seraphim start the conversation so seraphim you gotta understand, <laughs> you gotta understand. listen listen we listen. need context for how seraphim acts so seraphim kind of just walks up to her and at this point, he's, like, deeply suspicious of her. He doesn't really trust her. I don't even remember the first thing I said. But I was like, man, I see right through you. Mm-hmm. What's going on? It's because Seraphim could tell that Jackie was hiding something mm-hmm. because of one of their first interactions where Jackie was really keeping to herself. Mm-hmm. And, like, when asking, oh, why are you here? It was like, oh, it's a boy. <laughs> Yeah, just a boy. Gotta, gotta get over a boy. Yeah, so obviously that's it. Seraphim decides to ask about said boy and is like, So, why are you here? Who's who's the boy? Tell me the story. What's the story, Morning Glory? Go crazy. What's the story? Um and doesn't stop asking until Jackie is mad. <laughs> Jackie does not like it when people try to pry into her life. She just likes having fun. So she was getting more and more pissed as the conversation was going on. And then it turned into Seraphim being like, just, you're trapping yourself. You're mm-hmm. trapping yourself in the shell and you're blah, 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 blah. And like, you aren't allowing yourself to be yourself. Like, just let Jackie be Jackie. Yeah, let Jackie <laughs> be Jackie, which, fu- which fueled Jackie's rage. Jackie. When, when, we, when we learn more lore as we continue playing, you will see why that was such a a horrible thing to say. It wasn't horrible. It, it was. was. You don't know it no, yet. No, you don't know it. It was horrible. You don't know the lore we're talking about. Um, Jackie was very upset about it, and so there was this kind of like campsite fireside argument that was going on, essentially, where Jackie was telling Seraphim to fucking drop the conversation that she's not telling him jack shit. She's only known him for one day. Jack shit. Jack Jackie. shit. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie shit. <laughs> uh, no, she's not. And then. And then the end of the conversation was really good. Mm-hmm. And conversation in quotation marks. Yeah. The end of the row. <laughs> yeah. Seraphim looks to Jackie and goes, you are so lucky to have a past. And in response, Jackie looks at him and goes, you're so lucky to, have f- to, to forget. forget. To forget. 
And so they both really hurt each other by saying those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, There's, and there so, was a little drama. It was just a little drama. Just a little drama. And so Seraphim is in very deep distrust of Jackie because of the things that she says and also the things that he senses that she's not saying and the things that he is trying to understand. Because you have to understand, he has no memories. And so he's like, I'm just going to try and understand everything else around me because I don't have any of my own. Go crazy. Yeah. When you don't have memories, then you just need to know all answers immediately, right? Know everything. Seraphim. Yes! <laughs> you! Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, and how, mu- how, mu- how, much, how much do you need to know, Seraphim? A hundred percent. All of it. All of it. Seraphim so, is the Cecil Watcher. <laughs> so then how, how did Seraphim feel when talking to Martin? Oh, my God. No, that was right after that, wasn't it? It was. It was right Bro, like, went from one conversation of Burning Ridges right to the next. <laughs> Listen. So, I don't even remember. Okay, so I think that you went over to Martin and we're and Martin was like, "What? What happened? Like, what was going on?" He's like, "Man, and I hate that guy." <laughs> I think you were like, "I was just asking questions." Like, yeah. like totally like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and I don't remember. I remember Martin was like, "Yeah, you don't want to like go back to those people or something." But I don't remember what was what the conversation was before that. Do you remember? No. He just said something about, like, it was like a very go back to the bad guys. Yeah. And Seraphim was like, what bad guys? Fucking what? It was a very, like, offhanded, like, under, under his breath comment that you had to roll insight to see if you could actually, like, see what he was talking because about. Because Martin exposed a secret that he was hiding from... Seraphim. Which is like... Which Seraphim is, doesn't like, right? Yeah, Seraphim hates that... Really? That... I'm, I'm ignoring the patronizing tone in your voice right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> hates that he would keep that from him. Yeah, I think that might be loud on the... I know, I'm running it's interference. Just, it's, the, it's the blindfolds that <laughs> is being played with at the moment. No, the... the not the blindfolds, but... The... The, the, the window blind, blinds. The blindfold. The, it's, the, it's the same use. I'm holding thing, you though. hostage. Like, <laughs> they fold up. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Seraphim gets really mad um, and tells Martin not to look for him and goes... Okay, we're skipping away. some key information here <laughs> about Martin's excuse. <laughs> because you asked... You used your trinket on this. Do you remember that? Yeah, he said that he didn't because want Martin, to get hurt. Martin Seraphim rolled... is blinded by the fact that his friend was keeping information from him. Yeah, friend, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's... Are you eating glue sticks? <laughs> no, it's... It's coconut. It's, oh, it's okay. coconut. It's, it, it, like, the, the consistency is like eating wax, so it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, we need we need to talk about the rationality here, because you, Martin rolled a natural twenty on deception. I and you're like I don't want every that character choice I have made and you for used, Seraphim. You used your I stand trinket, all of it. <laughs> and so with that trinket, you got Martin to tell you that he was there when you had your memory taken away, and it was a threat that if he was. To ever, if Seraphim was to ever learn, or if Martin was to ever tell him about that, then they would like come and find Seraphim and like take his memories and do something worse and blah 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 blah. And so Martin is obviously like, I, I'm not gonna tell him then because that would be bad and I don't want him to lose his memories again. And you know, like, what memories? He has no memories. I don't. He has two months of he garbage has, in his brain. He has two months. Hey, two Martin. months of garbage. He has two months of Martin, and hey. Martin doesn't want him to forget him. Yeah, those that garbage includes Martin. How it's dare true. you? You can't simply live for the person that you love, though. You gotta live your own life, man. <laughs> right, Jackie? <laughs> you can't live your life Shut for another person. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I think we need to or, be more concise or or our as, right now. Or as Seraphim <laughs> said... You're more than just the love you have for another person. It's true! Um, I'm simply spitting facts. So, that happened. Um, Seraphim's like, Don't come looking for me! And Betrayal. Martin is upset. 
because Martin is his parole officer, so he can't just like let him go. And yet he does. <laughs> yes, he okay, does. you know what? Um, I think that the next thing that happens is that Sarah, Fim, and Emrys have a chat. Emrys. And I learn about Dr. Iko, who's yes. the person who made me, and I technically could go to her and ask her about my life. Mm -hmm. And ask her about everything, and then find the art, the the other people who took my memories, mm -hmm. and I could technically do, go do that. And he's like, "Fuck, I don't know if I can do that." And so he just goes to bed. Well, <laughs> the reason that he doesn't says, well, he wants to go, and then Emrys is like, "Do don't do that because she's not she's she's not a good person. She's not going to give you what you want." And and Seraphim's like, "Well, how do you know?" And Ember says, well... Because she, I am your robot mommy. Because she... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I am your robot mommy. <laughs> because Ember says, well, she she wouldn't help me, you know? Yeah. And then you're like... <gasps> and then he went to bed. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> Meanwhile, to Martin goes to find Jackie. <laughs> Jackie's having a moment, man. Jackie's, Jackie's having a moment. And Martin is like... Knock, 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 knock. And... Is like, and he said never to come see him again, and never to go find him, and blah 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 blah, blah and just kind of pours his heart out to Jackie, who doesn't care. They met that day. Jackie doesn't care that much, but then it's like, oh, it's a broken heart. I have to yeah. help this. I have to help. Fuck. Because <laughs> Jackie's a romantic. She is. She. I am a romantic. Yes. I'm very romantic. And so Jackie's like, okay, how do I... Because Jackie's already dealing with fucking <laughs> her beef with Seraphim at the moment. She's like, I don't want to help Seraphim. I'll help Martin, because I like Martin. He mm -hmm. showed me the arts and crafts, like, four times. Mm -hmm. um, and so Jackie's <laughs> like, fine. Uh, I don't know, just give him space, give him some time, don't force anything. Have this blanket and go, you know, you're gonna sleep outside his room anyway, so have this really nice royal blanket, because you are not sleeping in this room with me. I mean, um, I, so, another piece of context is that Martin and Seraphim kind of share a room. They had, like, an adjoining room. They were roommates. They were roommates. <laughs> they were. They were, that is so correct. Um, so, another thing is that, like, Martin's like, well, I can't go back to my room because because he's gonna be there. And so he curls up outside the door of their room. Like like a little dog. Like, I'm just gonna sit at, at the entrance of the room. Like a little dog. And that is basically how the first session ended. I propose we be a little more concise with our summaries. We're not going too, like, out of everywhere. Really? I feel like this is all I don't, the place. I feel like this was like 45 minutes. This wasn't. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we're, we're breaking some time. Yeah. It's crazy. We're keeping and it that pretty was in the line. 45 minutes, okay. and that was also with like <coughs> like character introductions Maybe and I just don't the know intro. What's going on. <laughs> you ever? That's Ouch. so valid, though. <laughs> I do have a question. Yeah. So, we have had moments in which like. Briar, you have had to leave the room. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking about. Do we want to describe that for the listeners? No. I think the listeners should stay out of it. Okay. I think I think that should be something that is secret for just the players. Okay, so if that if that happens when we're playing again, do we just stop the recording and No, have they that? can still listen. Okay, but the, they but can... the stuff before. The stuff before. Yeah, you guys don't okay. get to know shit. Okay. You guys don't get to know, get to know the secret stuff. Okay. So, like, last session. Yeah. We're not gonna do that? Yeah, no. Okay. You guys don't know to get... Well, I mean, we can do a little bit, we just can't explain it super well. Okay. And if we were to explain it a little bit, would we want Briar to go away? We can sum it up without secrets. Okay. Be sad. Be sad. Be sad. I'm going to get water. I'm going to pause it really quick for us to take a little break. And welcome back, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> viewers. Yeah, we did not They're prepare. not actually welcomed back. It's not working. <laughs> Give me a sec. 
the timer's going. Oh, wait, it is going. Yeah, it Never is going. going. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I was too, zoomed out too much to see that it was moving. Anyway, Oops. welcome back, beautiful viewers. Well, we can't see you guys and you can't see us, but listeners, a eh? Listeners. Oh, yeah, viewing is... Yeah, alive. viewing is watching. Viewing. Viewing. Observers. Listeners. No, that's looking, too. Well, I think observers is just experiencing, right? No, it's listeners. like it's like looking. Listeners. Listeners. Hearers. People that listen. Or things that listen. I don't know what you are. I feel like the listener could be like a cool like name of like a ooh. See, it was back in Minecraft as a very long time ago. And oh, it was, was it? In a Minecraft series. It was the watchers and the listeners. Uh, and if anyone gets that, you're a nerd. <laughs> okay. I'm not apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go to session two. We only have three sessions, so we're a third of the way there. Um, more than that, because session two is really short. Um, it was only like three hours. Um, okay, so we start with everyone had gone to bed, and we have some dreams. Dreams! <laughs> and we start with Jackie's dream. Oh, it was Jackie's dream. Yeah. Oh, it was Jackie. Okay. Do you want to describe it or do you want me to describe it? Well, I mean, right off the bat, Jackie is, like, in a room. Here, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Jackie is in a... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. We've been back. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been far away. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally, I'm about to, to I'm about to explain Sucky. Jackie's little dream. Um, so, <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, Boy's bouncing up and down. Yeah, Jackie was bouncing up and down like Briary's doing right now. Mm -hmm. Jackie wasn't bouncing up and down. Jackie no, was sad. Jackie was sad. sad Jackie spawned in a <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. You're in the Minecraft brain, and you're like, ah, oh, yes, I spawned here. I don't want to play Minecraft. Um. <laughs> So Jackie spawned in a room that is full of mirrors. Just mm -hmm. mirrors everywhere. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like mirrors. She does not like reflections. She's I want not to... happy. That's not a that's a totally normal thing to not like. Yeah, people can not like mirrors. Yeah, What's like <laughs> Yeah. I don't like mirrors. Okay. <laughs> is this an autism moment that I'm not understanding the joke? What was the joke? I was joking that like for a person with identity issues not to like mirrors. Oh, That's fuck funny. you. <laughs> <laughs> My identity is something, okay? That's all I know. And then you're like, well, I don't like mirrors, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> Listen, Jackie's special. Very and special. as Jackie's looking in the mirrors, Jackie looks in one of the mirrors. <gasps> and who does, she, who does she see? Jackie. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie, Jackie sees Jackie. Jump scare. <gasps> and Jackie, Jackie makes her way over, goes over. Also, um, context. Oh, no, ja Jackie's scared. Jackie's, like, looking away. Yeah, also context is that we're seeing this, like, through Jackie's eyes, you know? Yeah. Not the one in the mirror, but, like, the one that we... That have I there. control. Yes. You! We're, like, seeing through your eyes and your hand. It's My gray! Hand. It's gray! It's gray and longer. Jackie's not happy about that. Jackie's not happy to see this. And what does what does, what does mirror Jackie? What does mirror Jackie say Aww. to Jackie? I don't even remember. I was. I, what do you think? It, it, it was, was basically like hello, my love. No, well, no. Okay, it was so in, like, in, at, at the start there were uh, with a roll. Jackie, Jackie was yes. Okay, so there was a wisdom save that happened. Yeah. Um. And also, um, the the Jackie in the mirror is like, my little rascal. Hello. Yeah, my little. Rascal. But like also in Jackie voice, it's like. Oh, my little rascal, you know. My little rascal. Yeah. My little Excuse rascal. My so little sorry. rascal. Come and on. then Jackie was also going on about like, don't, oh, you don't look very happy, my love. Yeah. You need to be more happy. But like, don't the, the L one in Jackie. The, mirror, L the one in the mirror was saying that, not the one. Yeah, not not my Jackie. Yeah. Not not PC yeah. Jackie. NPC Jackie. NPC Jackie. Um, the yeah, mirror Jackie. Jackie, and Jackie, my Jackie. She, got real pissed. <laughs> she got really pissed and thought that, like, this shit isn't fucking real, nothing's real. And that she just wanted to wake up. Yeah. Which she did! Yeah. Yay. Yay! Um. But also, there was, like... Wait, was I gonna say something else? Who's to say? I don't even remember what I was saying. That's okay. Um. 
but like the the main point of that dream was that the Jackie in the mirror was like, you know, you you can be whoever you want. You don't like you you don't need to be like me. You don't need yeah. to be you can be anyone who you, you don't want need to be Jackie. Yeah, you don't was need that, to be Jackie. Yeah, was what which is <laughs> Jackie didn't like that. Jackie did Jackie not was like, like that. Also, hilarious thing. Jackie was like, I'm going to break the glass and roll Jackie. the strength. <laughs> Jackie's a weak leg. She's got minus two on strength, okay? And so she's like pounding on the glass and it just doesn't break. It doesn't. I rolled like a two, which ended up making it a zero. Yeah, because you have minus two to yeah. your strength. Um, and that was Jackie's dream. Meanwhile, Seraphim's dream was real interesting. He had some interesting moments. Yeah. Um, was this the one where I was with Dr. Aiko and Emrys? Yes. Yeah, so I was listening from another room. Um, I... In the big you, house. Could you set... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I so can... I do, you, was, do you want me to set it yeah, a little yeah. bit? Okay. I'll, I'll so the setting is basically like... The the big house, which was where, you know, the library is and also where we met Emrys. Um, but it was very, but in the dream, it is very different. Um, it is um, kind of, in, if if you were to look at it, it kind of looks um, old, not older, but like from an earlier period of time. Um, and Seraphim is laying on like a cot with, um, mechanical pieces on tables around him, um, and in a, a good deal of pain, um, not enough so that you can't, like, get up and walk, but just, it's you know. It's, like, comfy. It feels like it's your uncomfy. Are, like, yeah. numb. Yeah. And you're trying to move. And he hears voices coming from, like, the big main room, um, and that's how it kind of starts. Yeah, and so Seraphim decides to eavesdrop, obviously. Because because Seraphim is Seraphim and because Seraphim is Seraphim and has likes no to steal privacy information from people whenever he can, <laughs> um, and uh, they're talking like one person is like very disappointed with the other person and they're like what you're doing is wrong, um, mm -hmm. and we learn that this is Doctor Iko and Emrys mm -hmm. talking to each other. And, um... And Emrys looks a little different than how we know Emrys today. Yeah. Emrys doesn't have the makeup, um, Ooh, and it's yes. kind of more, uh, raw and true and honest, kind mm. of. Like, less masks, and very, very distraught, and, uh, has just, like, apology in her eyes, and is very not having a good time. So Seraphim is listening in on this conversation and decides to say something. Mm -hmm. And I don't really remember all that I said, but it was probably like, why did you do this to me? Yeah. You had a conversation with Dr. Iko. Dr. Iko, and he's talking about kind of like the inhumanity of her actions and how- Yeah, like why did you the do this to me? The life has is not a yeah. life. It's like, barely living yeah. without, like, memories or anything. And Aiko is, like, on the train of, like, well, I made you, and you're not a real person, and, you yeah. know, you do what I say because you're my creation. And he wants to be his own guy. Mm -hmm. And so he, like, storms off and is mad. And, like, pushes things off of tables. Over. <laughs> he goes to a little birdie tantrum and then goes to lay down back in his cot. Yeah. <laughs> and then and I think that's when he... I, I do remember that you did hear a little bit of what they were saying. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, uh, Emrys, like, coming in and uh, through the front door and Aiko being like, like, why are you here, you know? Do you not remember this? Or? No, I'm just... Okay, so I'm making connections to my brain. Oh, okay. Recapped <laughs> to me. <laughs> Are you making theories? Um, and and Emrys was like, I wanted to apologize. I wanted to, like... The cat. Is it Dungeon She's Cat. Dungeon Cat. Dungeon Cat. <laughs> um, and... You know, like, I, I wanted to apologize. I never meant for you to find out like this whatever find out was um and Aiko is just fully in like rage and mad and as um Seraphim leaves Seraphim just like hears this like row begin as they are like verbally fighting each other um 
and that. Moms are fighting again. You wonder why Seraphim makes the choices that he does, knowing who he created him. <laughs> Bro has mommy issues. Bro has major mommy issues. <laughs> What's wrong with a few mommy issues, huh? Hmm? What's wrong with a few mommy issues, huh? Yeah. Nothing's wrong with a few mommy issues, unless it makes you burn bridges with everyone you know. <laughs> Besides if it's the mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's their dreams. And he wakes up and he doesn't, doesn't remember, remember anything. He's like, oh, what a nice sleep I had. <laughs> oh, Martin, where are you? No, oh, you, because you. Because I. Oh, not Martin, where are you? In my sleep. Not in my sleep. While before Martin you was went sleeping, to bed, yeah. before I went to bed, Seraphim was like, oh, I fucked up. And so he messages Martin in his sleep and is like, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Please be my person again. Yeah. I'm sorry. Not the first time you'll hear him say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he keeps making mistakes. <laughs> Listen, he's a flawed guy. Um, and yet but, I stand by and you also, he's ever done. You also um, went and like laid down next to Martin. Yeah, I curled up next to Martin. Outside I'm the like, door. Damn, it's cold. Also, yeah. I can't open the fucking door because you're lying in front of me. <laughs> it's a cold door, you dumbass! <laughs> it's not a push door! No! <laughs> Martin's like six foot something. Seraphim is four foot five. But that is kind of like where you wake up to. And Martin is gone when you wake up. I'm like, man, do you not hear my message? And. Goes to look for him. You do, you do go to look for him. I went to look for him. He was in the library. Because, because he literally. There's literally nowhere else that he hangs out. <laughs> what about the arts and crafts building? He was so arts enthusiastic about it yesterday. <laughs> um, so Seraphim goes and he apologizes and does this whole like thing of like, I'm sorry. I like being alive and having new memories with you as my friend. <laughs> and then... Wow! Yeah, wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> and, then, and then they're good. Yes. <laughs> For now. <laughs> For now. For the moment, they are good. Um, Never again will they be this good. <laughs> and... They go on a walk, right? Mm hmm And, okay, so they, they go on a walk in the intention of trying to get Seraphim to fly. Because flightless bird. And um, they, like, go on an airship. They go on an airship. They have this whole complicated contraption, but it doesn't... Where Martin is flying the airship, and then Seraphim is suspended by ropes below the airship, like, hanging in the air as the airship is going. And, like, flapping his wings to try to <laughs> fly. But nothing sparks his memory, and so he's like, eh, we'll just give up. And so once he's down on the ground, he, he tries to, like, remember to fly. And with a successful roll, I was able to remember something. And I shoot one of a, like, a feather. You, like, flap your wings, and yeah, then this accidentally wings, happens. And then a feather shoots out of his wings and stabs a tree, like, far out. For context, like, uh, the these feathers are not made of feather material. They are made of metal. They are metal and very sharp. Forged in very sharp metal. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's like, what the fuck? And runs over and he's like, let me just grab this out. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. What the fuck? How did this mm -hmm. happen? And then asks Martin to come over and it's like, hey, help me pull my feather out of the tree. Mm -hmm. And Martin... Fails. Fails terribly. <laughs> and so they're like, okay, I guess we'll... Yeah. Just pretend like it's not there. Do you did you um cast detect magic on yourself? Oh I did. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And it was like you know, magic. A whole bunch of different types of magic. Yes. Um, and then hmm. I believe Is it Jackie and Emrys have a conversation? Yeah, Jackie and Emrys have Jackie, a conversation. Jackie Jackie goes, goes to, arts and to arts and crafts. Meets two kids. Yeah. And Akina. Yeah. Yeah. One of them is Akina. Yeah, one of them is Akina. Stupid, stupid. So she meets two kids and gets really disturbed at the fact that there are two kids here that have been here for that years. That they're like 12 years old. Yeah, they've been there for years. And so the idea that these kids have been here for years and still haven't been able to leave really disturbs it's Jackie. It's off-putting a little bit? It's a little off-putting for yeah. her. She doesn't appreciate it. And so Jackie is like, you know what? I'm bored. I want my friends... I want Martin. <laughs> Martin's my Seraphim's friend. on the fence. 
Sarah from Zaire, I guess. So Jackie decides, oh, let's go to the library see if the broken angel, if they're doing some broken angel work or whatever. Mm-hmm. So Jackie makes her way along. And runs into the best wizard in the world, Rincewind. Good old R.W. Bestie material. And, uh... You guys didn't see Rincewind last session. They're too busy trying to kill each other. Oh, yeah, that's so true. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, A little little, uh, sneak peek for you guys about next session. (laughs) And so... Um, Win- so Winchwind is like, hey, you have to you have to go talk to Emerus so you have your intake. Because unlike Seraphim, who got to choose who was in who his <laughs> his meeting partner was, Emrys chose for Jackie, and Emrys chose herself. That's because you would have chose Rincewind, who would not help you at all. That's why I wanted to pick Rincewind. <laughs> that was the whole reason. That was the setup. It was the setup. And so um, Jackie's like, oh yeah. Sure. I'll do that later. Later. And so Jackie is like, oh, fuck, I should go to the big house, which is where Emerus's office is, but it's where the library is. So mm-hmm. Jackie's like, I'm going to sneak in mm-hmm. so that no one sees me. Mm-hmm. And I failed my role. Well, the thing is that you failed your... Did you fail your role in Emerus saw you, or did you fail it and that was where you saw Rincewind? No. Emerus saw. Emerus saw. Emerus right. found me. Yeah. Emerus found me and was just behind me and was like, you have to meet, and Jackie was like, ah, do I have to, though? Mm-hmm. Do I have to? And then was like, yes, you do. Mm-hmm. And Jackie's like, ah, fine. And then goes up into the library and hangs out for a bit, and is like, hey, hey, guys, how, oh, did I stumble in on an emotional moment? And they're like, no, it's fine. And then Seraphim. Seraphim's like, me, 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 me. And Martin's like, give us a second. <laughs> So Jackie just waits outside reading a book that she doesn't know the language of. And Emrys, or not Emrys, hello, Martin, is like, turns to Seraphim, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And is like, what's up, buddy, why? Yeah, because Seraphim does not trust Emrys for shit. Emrys? Not Emrys. Emrys! Jackie. Jackie. Doesn't trust Jackie. So he's like, I don't trust Jackie. trusts Emrys. And and, And Martin's like, try and be friends. And Seraphim was like, fine. Okay. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I'll try. I don't want to, but I'll try. And then... What happened? And so, uh... By the way, the feather is during the meeting with Emrys. Oh, so do we skip ahead? Yeah, you guys kind of skip ahead okay. a little bit. Okay. So... They, like, do some, like, broken angel work for a little bit. Like, over yeah. two hours. Over the time period where Jackie yeah. was supposed to go meet Emrys. And Jackie's like, I don't wanna. I and don't then, wanna. And then Martin goes, you kind of have to. And I'm like, and me, Jackie was like, fine. And then yeah. she goes and meets with Emrys, and it's, it's an interesting. It that was, was interesting. a fun one. It was that a fun, was a fun one. Well, this is an intake. This is your first. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was like the first session, and Jackie was very much like, I'm not talking. Because about Emrys anything. was very like, I want to talk to you about you know you, and that was like not good for Jackie. No, especially with the thing that happened with Seraphim last night. Which she, she tries to pretend didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Much to her lack of success. Mm-hmm. Because people pe- keep prying. Yes. And so, finally, this is a moment where Jackie goes and is like, let's play a game. Mm-hmm. Let's play a game of questions. You get to ask me something and I tell you the truth. I get to ask you something and you tell the truth. Question for a question. Question for a question. Mm -hmm. And so I made a personal role for myself to see if Jackie would lie or not. Jackie did not lie. Jackie didn't lie. (laughs) And it was, I can't tell you because Briar wasn't in the room for it. Was Briar not in the room for that? They keep getting kicked out. Yeah, no, Briar wasn't in the room for that because I was asking you. We're not going to say. No. Okay. And answers were had. Answers were given. Questions were answered. answered. It was a very interesting time, and Jackie knows a lot more about Emrys, and Emrys knows a bit more about Jackie. Mm hmm. <laughs> Which Jackie's not pleased about. No. And this is during this moment, is when Seraphim and, um. Why did I just forget my boy's name? Martin. Martin. I can't How believe did you forget Martin? Martin. I'm sorry. Martin and Seraphim go ahead and try to get Seraphim to fly. Yes. Um, 
and then the feather happens, and so and then, by this time, and then you were back by the time they returned, right? Yeah, so I was back. At, so Jackie was back in the library, having yes. like reading a book and trying to not have panic yeah. about what the fuck was going on, and what the fuck she just told Emrys. Yeah. Yeah, and Emrys told her, and <laughs> then Martin comes in like, "Hey, we need your help because Paul. <laughs> because Martin's like, okay, we're gonna go get." In the conversation with Seraphim, where Martin was like, we're going to go get Jackie, and then Jackie can help us pull out the feather. Yeah. And so Martin's like, oh, hi, we need your help with something. A book. And, yeah. A book. Seraphim does not want Jackie to know about the feather. And Jackie doesn't know about the feather. Jackie still does not know about the feather. She won't know about the feather. <laughs> and so Martin's like, no yeah. Feather. What? A book, a really heavy book that we can't really, really pick up. Heavy. It's up there on the top shelf. <laughs> it was so silly. And, and they so did that. trying to get the feather, and Seraphim runs to Emrys' office and is like, Hi, I named a tree <sighs> with a needle wing. What the fuck? Yeah. And then you were like, okay, bye, and left, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't really have anything to say. Oh, yeah. also mentioned how Seraphim does not trust Jackie. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. In in the conversation where Martin pulls Seraphim aside to be like, "Hey, what's up?" When, um, when Jackie comes in for the first time, he's like, "I don't trust that guy." Not yeah. Me. Not in a million years. And why wouldn't you? Why because would you... because you weren't getting answers, and so Martin was like, "Well, we can wait and be patient, and you know, when she feels comfortable, maybe she'll tell us something." You know. Seraphim's like, "That doesn't fly with me." I can't fly. Myself. <laughs> fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that is what else? Um, is the last thing just your your thing to Martin? Uh, yeah, essentially, yeah. It is. Yeah. The last thing of the campaign. It, this is a, this or, is the of shortest. this session. Of this session, not campaign. Of the entire the, campaign. The campaign. The end. The yeah, end. we're not going to be doing this podcast. The end of this session. Because it, it was kind of short. Yeah. But it was still fun. Yeah. Um, short, session. short session. Jackie looks to Martin and goes, I'm escaping tonight. And don't tell Emrys. Don't tell Emrys. You can tell Seraphim, but don't tell Emrys. Yeah. Which was such a mistake. Hey, Emrys never knew. Emrys never knew. So, she we kept the promise. <laughs> she eventually... <laughs> But not from us telling. That's true. Um, and Martin's like, you know, bad thing. Because, okay, <laughs> for context, without spoiling, like, w- w- without, like, having Briar know things about that conversation with Emrys. Emrys had mentioned, if you try to leave, bad things happen when you leave. And also, in the arts and crafts, because they're like, if you try to leave, bad things will happen when you leave. And also, when Martin learned, he was like, if you try to leave, bad things will happen when you leave. And Jackie's like, I got minus one intelligence. I'm fine. <laughs> Jack, I'll but be... nothing bad ever happens to me because I'm the main yeah. character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's not. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Will would be like. Do you want more? Yeah. Um, and of course you're like, well, not nothing bad will happen to me. Yeah, nothing bad ever happens. To yeah, me. I'm. So my life my is perfect. Dying. Shush. Um, you leave my boyfriend out of this. And that's kind of where... My boyfriend, he's dead! Hey! <laughs> and that's uh, uh. where this session two ended. Ah. Uh. And session three picked up exactly where session two left off. Where Seraphim just comes back and he's like, you find that book? Or... <laughs> and Martin's like, yeah, um, but that's all. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't believe that for a second. Martin, what's going on? And they get pulled, like, uh, Seraphim pulls Martin aside. There are sidebars that I know. Seraphim and Martin have. There's so many. It's because they're, they're... In love. The husbands have to confer. Wow, well, it's new. <laughs> um, and Martin's like, no, nothing, nothing's, nothing's going on. Mm-hmm. Nope. And he's like, okay, I have a secret, but you cannot tell Amaris. And Seraphim was like, ooh, tell, tell, tell. And Seraphim was like... Okay, but, like, maybe I'll tell her. You know, like, you had, like, a little thing for a sec where you were like... He was like, like okay, I will yeah. tell. <laughs> and Martin was like, no, you have to promise for 12 hours. Just 12 hours. <laughs> um, don't tell Emrys. 
And Seraphim was finally like, okay, I will not tell Emrys for 12 hours. I promise. And Martin was like, Jack is gonna escape tonight. <laughs> Seraphim was like, ooh. Good idea. <laughs> I have secrets now. <laughs> and that was exactly, exactly after that, Seraphim was like, all right, Martin, I'm gonna be gone for like 45 minutes. Can I have like a few? Can I can I have like a little bit of space? Yeah, and, and then drags like, okay. Jackie into the woods. Yeah, yeah, I drag Jackie into the and woods. And what happens in the woods, guys? What happens? No, what happens in the woods? I'm like, Seraphim. fucking tell me who you are, and Jackie's like, reveal no. yourself. <laughs> and they say mean things to each other. Oh, then, it was okay. It was a then, lot more than mean things. Okay, we gotta slow down a little bit. We gotta start from the beginning. I don't remember everything. Okay, <laughs> okay. so what happened is Seraphim looked to Jackie and said, Jackie, meet me in the woods. And Jackie's like, oh, okay. And um, and then dragged, dragged her there by, by her wrist. By her wrist, dragged her into the middle of the forest. And, and Seraphim was like, uncover yourself. Which <laughs> like, Jackie, yourself. Ja- still not a better phrasing. Jackie <laughs> took that in an entirely different way. <laughs> and was like, what are you talking about? And Seraphim's like, who are you? Don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit me. Don't who, bullshit me. Who are reveal you? Reveal yourself. Yeah, reveal ooh, yourself. Ooh, 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 and Jackie ooh. was like, oh, fuck off. We're not doing this shit. Yeah. We're done and with this. was like, yeah, we are. We're not doing this. And Jackie just kept getting more and more pissed off the entire time until, like, Jackie essentially lost her accent. She, she lost her accent, which really threw, which was, like, Seraphim was like, Gotcha. It felt like, for him and, like, and her eyes. Her eyes. Her eyes did change. Back into no, they didn't roll back. They, they ch- changed. They changed. They just like changed. Yeah. It, into they, what, white. what does the eyes look like? The eyes. So she originally has like white with the yellow eyes. So instead of like how some tieflings have like the black to the yellow, mm-hmm. she has white to yellow, and like white a uh, white iris. No, not iris. iris like white case. whites. Yeah, white whites, and though and the more angry she got. Is sent at some point, those the yellow in her eyes began to fade, and it was just white. It was just pure white eyes. So for Sarah, from this was like a ha gotcha moment. Oh for for Jackie, she was even more pissed off about it and was like, just fucking drop it. It's none of your fucking business. Like leave me the fuck alone. He's like, I want it to be my business. Give it to me. And I'm then bored. I'm bored. Before finally, Seraphim went was like. Is this just some kind of a game to you? Is this a game to you? Is this funny to you? And then Jackie... Jackie said that, right? No, no, no. It was Sarah from no, that said, Sarah isn't this just saying, funny to you? Oh, yeah. And then Jackie said, I'll show you something funny. And casted Tasha's hideous laughter. Because yeah. you were like, yeah, this is funny to me. Ha, ha, ha. And then yeah, that was then, the yeah. cast. Yeah, this is so funny to me. Ha, ha, ha. And then reaction, I shot and grasped her. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. More damage. <laughs> yeah, Sarah from did. Which, Tasha City's laughter does not have damage. Yeah, Tasha City's <laughs> laughter did not damage. Which he tell me her from laughing though. Which in res- <laughs> in response, um, Jackie did a hellish rebuke because we're all level three. She she did a hellish rebuke against against like Seraphim, rebuke. which did cause damage. <laughs> which did cause a lot of damage. I so much damage that bro end. had three hit. You each had three hit points at the end. Yeah. No. I mean, before you got, you healed yourself, right? No. I, I only lost... You took, like, four damage. Yeah, I only took four oh, damage. okay. I thought you took eight. Nope. It should have been more, though, because I miscalculated. Um, oh, really? So. Mm-hmm. I okay. believe it was eight, but I'm, that might be wrong. Oh, yeah, it was, because I rolled it to yeah. eight. Because I remember you each, uh... Oh, you, yeah, it was eight. It was eight. You hit each other for eight damage, but you have less hit points. <laughs> no, mine wasn't eight because I had, because I cast it at second level. Yes. So it did more damage. It yes. did an extra one eight, yes. one d eight, mm. which is why your health went all the way down to thirty. <laughs> Three hit points. Um, and when that happened, Jackie doesn't remember this. Jackie does not remember this happening. Jackie thought it was smoke. Um, but something happened to Seraphim where there was like this flash of like wings mm. and rings and eyes and things. It was a survival check that happened. Yeah, it was a survival check where. That just flashed ever so quickly, and Jackie thought it was smoke. Um, and Seraphim didn't realize it happened. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And then what Seraphim had a trauma moment Just for the fire. Like the, the, the broken, broken angel. angel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jackie saw that it looked kind of like what the broken angel images have been. But since but it was just like a, a trick of the light kind of yeah thing it was smoke like, it smoked. Yeah. yeah it was smoke um, it happened for like half a second mm-hmm. but Jackie's like ember burning hands like triggered some memory in Seraphim and yeah. so he was like what the it was fuck? more like deja vu than like an actual visual memory yeah. though yeah and so and Jackie had a little sad moment Jackie had a little sad moment. I Shut up. It was what your fault. Did, what did you say? You were like, this is so hard being no, a good person, it's, Jackie. It's so hard being a good person, Jackie. Ugh. And, um, cause, cause Jackie did heal herself. But also, Jackie did take a moment and was kind of in the forest for a little bit. This is so fucking hard being a good person, Jackie. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. And it was... And Sarah went to Emerus because what? I had to have, like, a meeting with her. What? The paper oh, bent. I know. Okay, I was like, did you see some secrets? No, the paper bent. Okay. And it was sad. Seraphim okay. went to Emrys because he had to meet with her. Mm-hmm. Um, and they tried to bring back that memory that he had in the woods. Okay. Thing, you, you, thing you're forgetting. You went to go find Jackie's family in the records. You so, did. Yeah. I yeah. went to the library and I tried to do like a fuck ton of research about like the like, Shape Changers yeah. and the Mira family. The Mira, because... Potentially someone who died in that village, or like trying to do research about whoever the fuck. Like, you looked at like possession, I think too. Oh yeah, yeah. Like possession or yeah, because Jackie's taking control of someone's mm-hmm. someone's dead or like like taking it their dead body body, body or something. Yeah, because Jackie's full name is Jackie Mirad. Mm-hmm. And um, you did find a Mira family, but it was just like some farmers in a place. Which like. But Seraphim was like, I'm too like, bored. <laughs> and so you went to Emrys and you were like, give me Jackie's home address. I'm like, do you happen to have Jackie's home address? And she's like, well, yeah, but that's confidential information that I'm not going to give you. He's like, but please. I'm a responsible adult. But I'm a sweet boy. <laughs> if I ask, nice enough. Um, and then you guys had your meeting, right? Yeah, where we tried to bring memories back. And she kind of like put her, made her hands into like smoldering embers for you to like remember and was like, D- okay, the, what do you see? Like, were these the only hands that have, you've ever seen do this? Blah, blah, blah. That, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And we did get a little memory, yeah. but it wasn't triggered by the embers. But it was Emrys doing what she was doing. It was Emrys's, like, it was Emrys and it was... Like, her face and... And probably being in that room. Being too. in that room, too. Yeah. So, Seraphim is taken to this memory where Emrys... He's in some side room where he mm-hmm. can see the front door. Yeah. Um, and... That memory of the... That, that little dream we had before. A tiny, tiny piece of that. Yeah. Where Emrys walks in and she's distressed about something. Um... And it's so sad. The only thing that he really saw was her walking in. Yeah. Sad. Just like her face. Yeah. Yeah. And so he comes back to reality <laughs> and is kind of like, "Why were you so sad?" Bro because... is like, "I'm getting, I'm getting therapy, but also like, I'm just gonna like analyze you for a sec." Listen, that's what, like... he, that's what he does. <laughs> he, um, and he's trying to understand what he had just seen. And so he's like asking her question. He's like, "Why were you so sad? Why were you there? Where did your beads go? Where was your makeup? Where was like all yeah. that?" And then she, I think, I think, I think, um, uh, Seraphim was saying something about like, "You're not you. You were hiding less then. Why are you hiding now?" Mm-hmm. Or something like that. Like you had less masks back yeah. then. Why do you have so many now? Yeah, I remember that part. Um. And so Emrys takes that and is not very happy with that, and she leaves the office. Yeah, she's like, "But like, uh, we're not we're not talking about me right now," and she leaves. Yeah, and so in true Kenku fashion, I go through her stuff trying to find information about Jackie. Um, I find <laughs> in the some office. Beads, I find some books. I tear some pages out the books. I take some beads, and then I go back. Um. To um, my room. I believe. Yes, and you find Martin. Yeah. 
and Martin, you're, I think you, like, you're, like, laying in your bed and Martin walks in, I think. Mm-hmm. And is like... Oh, yeah, and I'm all bloody and roughed up still from... Still three hit points. Still three hit points from... Has not gone to the, to the, uh, to the, the nurse's office. Mm-hmm. And Martin comes in and is like, what happened? What and I'm like, there was a salt altercation in the woods. Nothing bad happened except for me getting hurt and Jackie being electrocuted. But everything else is fine. Jackie being that. electrocuted? I was not concerned about the... Martin was very much, like, more concerned about what happened than... than like, you're at three pit points. You're alive. You're, like, you're fine. I'm, like, alive still, but... And he has barely. bandages, and he helps you bandage, and then... But it doesn't... It's like, you need to... Hit points. No, it doesn't. Um, but is like you need to, fi- like, cause you you said didn't you say that you wanted to fix things with Jackie? Yeah, mm-hmm. and so Seraphim tries to do an apology. He does this cute little thing with the beads and makes them float yeah. and glow. And Martin kind of like walks him through it. Like you don't make excuses for what you did. Just say you're sorry. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, and she's like, talk to me when I'm about to leave at midnight. Just leave me alone. And so Seraphim sits outside of her door, waiting for her to come out until midnight. However, you had an insight check. And you were like... I realized that she was not going to leave. She 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 was was going to leave leave before midnight. So So it was more like a, like, talk to me when I'm not here. (laughs) Like, uh, but you're not going to be here, so I'm going to wait until you come out to not be here, and then I'll walk with you. And I believe at that point, um, you... Also, when you came back and talked to Emrys, you're like, Jackie's not making me feel safe. Oh, yeah. Um, like, Jackie makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. And I so believe uh, the next thing that happens is that you're like, okay, Martin, stay with Jackie while I go into the woods alone. <laughs> Don't you remember that? I walked um, Jackie to Emrys's <gasps> to right. have the meeting. Right. I forgot about that. Jackie has a meeting with Emrys. Yeah. And Emrys is like, I hear that you are making people feel unsafe. And Jackie's like, well, you know, it's because Seraphim makes me feel unsafe. <laughs> and it's because he's prying. Because that's also what Jackie talked to Martin about. Mm-hmm. The whole, like, he makes me feel unsafe, Martin. You have to do right, something Right, because Jackie it. went and talked to, to Martin about what happened. Right? Yeah, because yeah. she was like, I had to get there first. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta... I gotta come to the, with the story first. Be the first source of information. I have to tattle to the boyfriend. Yeah. Um, and so Jackie was like, Martin, he was so mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel safe around him. You're his parole officer. Watch him more closely. Just leave. Like, you're his Be parole. Be better at paroling. Yeah, which she said it so much more nicely. Yeah, I know. She was very nice about it. She was very nice, very a little bit manipulative. Very manipulative. Yeah, very yeah. manipulative. No, she was very That's manipulative. That's why Seraphim does not like her. <laughs> you can't blame her. She's been through hell. I do blame her, though. She's been through a lot, man. Hey, Carlock has been through hell, and Carlock is, like, the best character. Okay, well, that's because Carlock's hot. She's Jackie's so just sweet. pretty. She's, she's so sweet. Anyway, um, so you had a conversation with Emrys. Emrys about being safe. And did did you, did you have anything else in that conversation? Um, I think that was really. Yeah, I was don't that really kind think. Yeah, was that like, kind of I, it. I feel like Emrys was like, "Well, if you need anything, let me know." And that was like, "I don't need anything. Bye." No, it was a uh, yeah. to be left alone. Yeah, to be left alone. That's right. <laughs> um, then, Jackie just wants to be left alone. And then Seraphim has a conversation about how he wants to leave the camp. Yeah, with like with Emrys. With Emrys. Yeah. That was and that happened like, earlier. You can't leave. It's like, but I want to. Yeah. And then And then she tells him he can't. And so he goes into the woods. Yeah. By and it's like all alone. Hey Martin, uh, keep an eye on Jackie. Anyway. Keep an eye on Jackie. I need She's some space. Leave soon. Yeah. And so <laughs> this scene <laughs> was so funny. It was so this is what happened. So Martin's like, Okay. Knock 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 knock. Hi Jackie. Can we hang out? And Jackie was like no. Where, where's, where's, who, what? Oh, he, he went into the woods, but we're gonna, can we hang out? And then Jack was like, so, so, 
Seraphim, correct. Seraphim what? is telling you to come watch me, right? Right, yes. No, 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 I just, I just want to hang out. But where's Seraphim? <laughs> He's gone into the woods. He, he, needs, he, needs some, he needs some alone time. What happened last time when Seraphim went into the woods without you? Um... Seraphim? I already covered your ass. <laughs> and then he, like, I think he receives a message from Seraphim again because he's going to go find Seraphim. And then it was Jackie lied about when she's going to leave. Yeah. And he's like, okay. No, 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 Bloody hell, Martin. <laughs> Can we hang out? No. Why not? And so, I want to have a friend. So Jackie locks the fucking door yeah. and then escapes through the window. Yeah, she and was planning... Martin's just, like, sitting outside yeah, the she door. Was, she was planning to leave a lot later, like, at 10, and mm-hmm. instead ended up leaving at, like, 9. Yeah. Which was not part of her plan. Yeah. So that she didn't really both have. Seraphim and Jackie are headed out of the wo- out through the woods towards the outside, towards the border, out of the camp. And we said before that bad things bad happen things happen when you try to leave. We're gonna illustrate that exactly what that look like. So, I believe we start with Jackie. We do, because Jackie actually knows her way back. Yeah, so she gets there first. So it's the path she took from when she was getting from the train. Mm-hmm. It's what yes. Wentzwood, that was the path that she yeah. was going on. And so Jackie's walking. She's nothing's, walking. nothing's going wrong. Um, and then there seems to be, like, a lack of warmth as she kind of, like, steps over the border. Like, there was warmth and now there isn't. Um, no, she's chilly. And then, like, a little cold. And then there's a chill that isn't from the cold, and it feels like there's something there with her. And there's a figure. Figure's very tall, not quite Jackie, not quite someone else. Kind of, uh, warping as, like, if you focus on a feature, then it's one face. If you focus on another feature, or if you just look at the face, it's kind of, like, shifting between them. Yeah. And it's holding what at one blink is like a tambourine, and then the next is these like, you know like the symbols on a tambourine, like the little metal pieces that make the noise? Those, except they're very sharp and they are in the control of the arm, like of the hand of, like kind of like circling the head like a halo and circling the body kind of these very beautiful weapons. It was a g g ghost It was a g g ghost That's what Jackie thought it was. She was terrified. Yeah. And for a while, she just, like, did not look around. She was like, uh-uh. Yeah, she was like, nope. 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 And then it ended and up... And then it, it... What did it say? It was like, Let's you're running play. away again. You're run, yeah, you're running away again. And then it said, Let's play. Yeah. I wanna play. Yeah. And so, Jackie... And it, oh, it said, it said, like... What did it say? It, it said, um... I have it down written down here um uh looking away is not going to change who you are it's not going to change what you see um <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god oh my god <laughs> um and jackie freaks i think jackie freaks out jackie yeah. freaks out and so she decides to bolt she decides yeah. to not run back to camp she's just gonna run just away run away from camp which is like the wrong direction i think <laughs> for what was happening here um, because it was the reason that it was appearing was because you were running away. Yeah, and so it threw something at me. It threw one of those No, because before before Jackie ran, it threw it first, and then Jackie ran. Yes, it threw one of them <laughs> One of the uh, symbol things, which ended up going right through, through her, her stomach. Through her stomach. Like, out the other side. Yeah, and it, it was like this, like, it was a thin hole. Yes. But it was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And so that's why she started running away. Very injured. Um, I think it rolled a nat 20 on the, like, the first Yeah, it did. It rolled, yeah. it rolled a nat 20. <laughs> and then you started running, and it uh, threw another one. Yeah. And that one hit your... What did that hit? No, it didn't hit the leg. But it did hit the shoulder, I think. It hit the shoulder. It hit, it hit like, a shoulder or something. Yeah. Because then Jackie's like... Well, because then she... No, it didn't hit anything. She fell. She fell. She fell. And then she was like, and then the thing was like, do you want to play? And so yeah. Jackie's like, what do we play? As she's like getting up and stuff. 
and like holding on and then it stomach. waited for you to get up to get up and was like i want you to run you yeah know, like let's let's play run yeah <laughs> and which caused jackie to decide to run back to camp and yeah. as she's running three more of the uh two more two more no yeah. it was three more was it three more yeah it was three more okay because one of them didn't hit one jackie. of them didn't hit and one then... of them didn't hit two of them did mm-hmm. and then the <laughs> last one hit right at the connection of your knee and she lost a leg and it's like knee down no more jackie leg no more leg and that's a problem for jackie it's it's a jackie huge falls trap. and sees a figure coming out of the camp a lot taller and this figure <laughs> is a lot a lot taller um has this like glowing kind of like the you know the you know the in Howl's Moving Castle, the, um, the star people that he, like, eats the shooting star, and then there's, like, in that, like, weird vision thing, there's, like, the star people holding hands going around Howl. Okay, I've never seen Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, no! what? <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume I know what you're talking um, about for the purposes but it's of like, the podcast. But it's, like, this, like, multi, like, multi-pointed star that's, like, constantly moving in, like, light and liquid liquidity. And the the idea that light is all color at once, but like there's every color of the rainbow and then a few extras, you know. Yeah. Um. And uh, this figure is like holding two big swords, and kind of sweeps past you and, uh, quickly deals with the thing that is chasing you, and you pass out and because you was, are. Who was this who person? was the person? Who was this it was Emrys. <laughs> Emrys is so cool. I love her. No, um, wait, on Jackie. Emrys sucks. Yeah. Emrys Jackie sucks. doesn't like Emrys. Kelly likes Emrys. I love Emrys. Um, and that is what happens with Jackie. Jackie. However, Seraphim. Over yonder. <laughs> Meanwhile, the same thing's happening to Seraphim, except. He's, he's walking. Yeah, he's walking. And he feels that same cold. Yeah. Um, and then the chill. And the chill, and... And the eyes that are following him, but mm-hmm. he keeps walking. He yeah. it, and then it talks to him, and it's mm-hmm. like, it's, I don't remember what it says. I don't remember what it, what did it say. It was like, and um, like um, where are you going? Them, like, yeah, their toy or something. Yeah. Um. He was like, nope, no, 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 no. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Mm-hmm. Um. And then it makes his like stop working, and so he it's like says, I think it says like. Oh, that doesn't can't do it all. And there's like a clicking, like a mechanical clicking, yeah. and then all of your legs stop. And then his locks, his legs stop working, mm-hmm. and he keeps trying to trying to move and flapping and, the wings, and flapping the wing, and trying to go, um, and he can't. And so he's like, "Why are you doing this to me? Let me have my legs back." And they're like, "But this is more fun, <laughs> yeah, to not let you use your legs." And then they were like, "You have a job to do. Mm-hmm. You have a job to complete, and you haven't done it." And he's like, oh, yeah. "What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know." And they're like. Well, you go back to camp, and you kill Emrys. And you let Emrys into your mind, and, and the, 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 the effect that it was set with your loss of memory will trigger when the, the changeling enters your mind, and that will kill Emrys. Yeah, and so he's like, okay, yeah, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> And they're like, okay. And so his legs start working, and he just starts walking away from camp again. Yeah. And and they come back, and they're like, you're not doing what I told you. And so they attack him. Yeah. And same thing and as like, Jackie. He like, gets attacked. He gets attacked, but it's not like a... It's not like something is hitting him it is like every single mechanical part of him just is being like crunched just like turns inward yeah so he's in a lot of pain and passes he doesn't pass out he doesn't pass out um, but, but um emerson arrives him. holding like holding jackie and bending down so that you can do uh he big perch in like big perch perch. Uh, perch on her Eagle shoulders yeah and she takes them to her house to yeah, heal them. her little cabin in the woods. Her cabin in the woods. And sets um, sets uh, uh, Jackie down in in the little cot, and has some blankets that um, Seraphim uh, snuggles in, and um, in comes a special guest. In comes a special guest, Martin, Martin who's very mad who at is very worried. And, like, is talking in a very worried voice to Emrys, and then, um, 
go, goes to Seraphim immediately and is like, are you okay? Um, and then we have a little conversation with, between Jackie and Emerus. What do you want to, what do you want to, you Actually, do the narration of this. you're missing a very important event in between that. Did I forget something? Jackie has another dream. Oh yeah, Jackie has another dream. That's fun. Because Jackie's cute. asleep. So Jackie is asleep. And she's so she's unconscious. And mm-hmm. she has another dream of the same... Same setting. Same setting, same mirror. Mm-hmm. But instead, she is lying in the middle with her head down, crying. And mirror Jackie mm-hmm. starts to talk. Mm-hmm. And goes, my love, mm-hmm. my little rascal, it's okay. And Jackie the so entire sweet. time is like, I hurt you. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I hurt lost you. your leg. I lost your leg. I'm so sorry. I hurt you. And and so Jackie's like, is it making you happy, little rascal? Yeah. Are you happy? And Jackie goes, I'm happy being you. Yeah. I'm happy and if Mira, you're happy. And Jackie is also like, you know, like, look up, I'm still, I am still the person that you remember, like, I'm still you here, I'm breaking okay. breaking that image that you have of, of Jackie isn't hurting me. Yeah, like, know? I'm okay, I'm yeah. still whole. I'm still me. And so, Jackie, because like, you remember me like yeah, that. she finally looks up and goes up to, I'm calling Mirror Jackie J, goes Same. up to J. And J has both legs. Yeah, J has both legs. Um, Jackie goes up to J, and is just like... And it's just, they start saying really sweet things to each other mm-hmm. and just reminiscing, kind of. And then, at some, one point, um, what, you have a quote of it. Mm-hmm. What's the quote between Jay and Jackie? Um, uh, little rascal, you can never hurt me. And then also, um, I'm always in your heart. And then Jackie goes, it's never long enough because, you know, you can only, you only ever see Jackie you only, you only ever see Jay, Jay when you're dreaming. Yeah, and so Jackie wants to stay with Jay for ages. And then there comes another part where Jackie goes, you were always my favorite flower in the garden. <laughs> and it was so cute before finally Jackie wakes up. Which is, it's so cute because they hold hands. Jay and Jackie hold hands and it's okay. And then Jackie wakes up to panic as she's realizing once again that she does not have a leg and she's panicking and Emrys is there like hey calm calm down calm yeah. down you're calm okay down. like rubbing back kind of like yeah. soothing and Jackie's having a full panic as she looks on the table and sees the leg sees, over there sees a leg yeah oh a leg a which, leg which is gray it's not it does it's Jackie's but it's not mm-hmm. it's very interesting and so then we asked Briar to leave the room <laughs> <laughs> we asked Seraphim to leave, and it was so good. It was um, so good. And I'm going to describe so many it. Secrets. It was bonding. It was bonding. They it were was bonding. Really like trust. There was know? a lot of trust into it, which makes sense because of how bad she was panicking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, There's a lot of trust there, and there was a lot of this bonding experience between mm-hmm. Emrys and Jackie. Much to Jackie's conflicted. Because Jackie has not been liking Emrys. Jackie does not like Emrys. Hasn't been for a while. And being able to be this open to her mm-hmm. is really conflicting. And it makes Jackie kind of regret it. Mm-hmm. Um, regret being open? Regret just do, being anywhere near Emrys. Mm. Yeah, regret being open. Regret just interacting with Emrys. Hey, but now you have two legs again, so like... Yeah, Jackie has two legs again. <laughs> she's okay. She's but safe. But she does... Have a scar on her stomach. She does have a scar on her stomach, which she's definitely not happy about. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, um, we're and then we cut over to Seraphim and Martin having a little bit of a fight. It's a little bit of a fight, and because Jackie goes in, because Jackie does visit. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Because as yeah, as, yeah, this is happening. This is happening at the same time. time. Seraphim Martin and, Seraphim. and Matt, Martin are having a bit of a fight. Seraphim, what happened with the conversation with Martin? I just tried to leave, and Martin's like, you tried to leave me, and if you could, then you would have just left me. And Seraphim's like, guy, I need to have my own life. This is insane. I hate it here. But I'm sorry that I hurt you, and Martin's like, that's not good enough. 
and leaves yeah. and yells and you screams also, and cries. You also... Okay. Can I read some quotes that happened during that fight? Yeah. Just a few. Um, one of them being... Uh, <laughs> I have to find it. <laughs> I don't know how to be better, but I want to be better for you. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. And also, you said, you must know I love you. Yeah. To which Martin was like, whatever, dude. I need some space and leaves. Whatever. And has a crisis in the woods alone. Seraphim's like, you know what? I'm just gonna die. I like, sobbing and uh, loudly verbalizing. And so Seraphim actually goes out to him and is yeah. like, you know, you're right. Everything that you said is right. Mm -hmm. And it do and it doesn't change that I did it, but I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And I know that I fucked up. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give me another chance, I'd be super grateful for that. And if you don't want to, then I'll know that I fucked up for the rest of my life. Yeah. Peace. And then they Peace. go inside. And they go and, inside. And while that's And we're not entirely sure if things are okay with them. We don't know until until this Friday. Ah. Um, Can it be Friday now? Is it Friday? Is it, is it Friday, Friday yet? yet? Is it Friday is it yet? Friday yet? <laughs> it don't Friday even. Yet? Um, and while this is happening, Emrys and Jackie are having a really interesting conversation. They're having a great time. Because Jackie goes like, it's so hard to see them be hurt by their love, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> because there, there was there was also a moment too hard. there was also a moment Fuck. where Jackie and Seraphim did talk. Yeah. They had oh, a yeah. talk where Jackie they Jackie was like, let's start over. Hi, my name's Jackie Nirad and Seraphim was like, this is so stupid. Yeah. Hi. My name's Seraphim, I guess. Jackie likes to do restarts. She likes to do, like, she likes to restart things and do give, like, check-in chances. And so they decided to... Jackie will not forgive, and she won't forget, but she's willing to move past it. And Sarah she, was like, you know what? I'm not gonna forget the shit you did to me either. All I Fuck did... You. All she did was make you laugh against your will. And also shocking... Or also hellish rebuke. Okay, and also told that, me was... that I was lucky to forget all of my memories. Okay, well that's because Jackie... And also said that I'm not your friend. <laughs> okay, I listen, said that. We both said but it, actually. But she said it first. <laughs> yeah. She was mean first, so thus I am justified in my mean response. <laughs> I don't know, you that, told... That, Seraphim told logic. me to uncover... <laughs> Not in a sexual way! He's a bird! <laughs> he is so asexual, it's not even funny! <laughs> anyway, and so... Oh, God. Yeah, and so Emrys from making pancakes, too. Emrys yeah. was obsessed with making pancakes. She's like, No, Pan dude, because... because, because like, no! In this conversation with Jackie and Emrys, so <laughs> Emrys is like... Well, Jackie's like, it's so hard to see them be hurt by love, and... Okay, first of all... So, uh, uh, Amaris is like, they're, they're, like, married, right? <laughs> and, 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 so. It's like when someone comes up to you and they're like, <laughs> yeah, autism, and you're like, I'm not autistic, and they're like, are you not autistic? <laughs> and so, Jackie was like, that's not, they're not married. And she's like, what? And it's like, you know love's not supposed to, like, hurt. And, oh, and then Amaris is like, Amaris is like, no, no, that's, like, the whole point. You're supposed to be hurt by love. That's, like, the entire point of love is that I get hurt by it. therapy. And Jackie was like, N no, you're supposed to be, like, happy with one another, you're supposed to be safe, you're supposed to, like, always be there for one another. There's gonna be rough moments, but it's not all supposed to be pain. What? Emerson's like, and then Emerson's is like, I need to make some pancakes. Do you want pancakes? <laughs> and it, Jackie. Listeners, it, it was in canon, 2 a.m., yeah. Pancakes? <laughs> when you realize you have free will and can just make pancakes at 2 a.m. and eat all of them. 2 a.m. so when two, Martin two and Seraphim come in, Emrys has made pancakes. And is like, do you want pancakes? And both of them say no. Yeah, because um, Jackie passed out. Because it's 2 a.m. And so she's just eating pancakes by herself. So Jackie okay. passed out after this conversation with Emrys. Jackie went Seraphim is never going to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> And like that's where we ended. the session ended. Yeah, that's where we ended. It sucked. We're um, like, so what? that is like the beginning circumstances of what, if you continue to listen, will be.
be happening. That's where we're gonna pick up on yeah. session four. I also it wanted we're to. All I also. We're <laughs> I also wanted to add on that in what in part of the conversation with Emrys, Emrys admitted that she herself cannot leave because of this spell. She was oh, the one okay, that cast so, a spell. Okay, so there was a spell cast. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, that this this was part of your conversation with Emrys. That's why we didn't mention it. Um, 